Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pale Dog Tool Company. Wishing you a happy new year from the frozen and frigid north, cradled in the bosom of the great Rocky Mountains. Today we're going to do a little shop tour, followed by a very big announcement. So, here it is. The workshop, as you know it. Let's, uh, let's get a better view of the whole thing. That's it. Just a table. That's the workspace. It's an eight foot by, uh, I don't know, a little more than three foot wide door that I built into a workbench. There's the lathe. A couple tools uh, waiting to be restored over there. And uh, a little bit of wood, some more tools over there. That's it. That's the whole shop. So why are we doing a shop tour of something that's essentially not really even a shop? Because we're moving. We partnered up with these guys, Rudehead Studios. You might remember them from the uh, the Haunted House video. Oh, oh my god. He's got a transitional plane. What is, what is he doing with a plane in here? What do you even do with that? So we found a nice little space. We're going to go half seas on the rent. Uh, plenty of storage. Plenty of space to do all the stuff that we need to do. It's got a heated section, a non-heated section, which is a warehouse. Um, it's pretty good. And, uh, I don't know. What's better for a YouTube channel than shacking up with a video production company? I think it'll be a good deal. Let's go check it out. Welcome to the new home of Pale Dog Tool Company. She ain't winning no beauty pageants, but it's a lot of space. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh! Bada bing, bada boom. If this isn't enough space, I give up. It is ten thousand square feet. I was just trying to cheer us How many square feet? Go ahead. 2,200 square feet. Leveling up. Getting ready to take and paint the drywall. We put in a new steel door so we don't get stolen. We'll probably tear these apart, but they're nice storage and they were here already.
trim the whole thing in and I was looking at baseboard and I wanted big, tall, thick, industrial, five and a quarter inch kind of squared off uh, MDF baseboard. But that stuff ends up being, uh, it was like 250 or something like that, a linear foot. Um, pine of the same deal was four or five dollars a linear foot, so that was out. So we found some shorter, cheaper stuff, ended up being like a buck and a half. And then we found these packs, uh, just the ugliest stuff you could find was in our price range. And then walking down the other aisle, we found this tongue and groove pine, 12 foot boards for seven bucks a piece. So do the math on that, that's way cheaper. And it's the look we wanted anyway. So we're just gonna cut the tongue off on the uh, table saw, stick them on the wall. Tongue and groove baseboard. some quick and dirty trim. Emphasis on the dirty. 